Hello everyone. So we are going to discuss two problems now. So this is the first problem. So you have to make a common drain amplifier with the two microampere current source as a load. Okay. Sorry, 200 microampere current source as a load, and you have a re reference current of 100 microampere. That means you have a golden current source of 100 microampere. By using that, you need to load a common drain amplifier with 200 microampere current. So basically, what you need is that. what you need so basically you need a for common drain amplifier this is the input right this is vdd and this is the current source and here you get the output so this should be 200 microampere so how will you create it so that's the question so you need to have a 200 microampere current source. You have a 100 microampere current source with reference current of 100 microampere you have. So building 200 microampere current source. So 100 microampere you already have this is VDT this is grounded now the same potential that is created you can give it to something other and then you will have a this will be vdd and uh, this current you will get as i output okay so let us assume it has a w by l ratio of 2 then it has a w by l ratio of 1 so what should be the w by l ratios what should be the relation between the w by l ratio so W by L ratio of 2 should be double of W by L ratio of first. So if you have 100 microampere, then your I output would be 200 microampere, right? So what will be your final design? Final design. This is the current source you have. This is fed here. Then you get a constant current here. Right. Then you have a common drain amplifier. And here you collect a output. To. This is the common drain amplifier which has this small signal voltage V in. This is the DC supply. And this is the output you have this is also vdd only one supply is used this is 100 micro ampere if it is had w by l then it will have 2 into w by l so basically the current here would be of 200 micro ampere so this is the final design right 100 micro ampere w by l ratio so current mirror 200 micro ampere and simple if you do the small signal analysis of this one small signal analysis so this complete configuration will be open circuited right because doing the small signal analysis this will be open circuited if this is open circuited this is an open node if this is open node no current here no current here so this will complete be open circuited so this won't contribute in any resistance okay this is a constant current source so it will not contribute in any resistance this complete configuration this complete configuration will be open circuited only right complete configuration okay so the gain would simply be gmr naught upon gmr naught plus one that's it okay so this is your final design okay we will see one more problem that is more interesting okay let me write this so this is the second question now the problem is that 
uh, you have to build a common source amplifier with load of 100 microampere now the reference current you have is 200 microampere so what you will think i will make the w by l ratio to be half okay but the important thing to note is that the w by l ratio of all the available transistor are equal okay w by l ratios of all the available transistors are equal so now basically you have a lot of transistor okay you have a lot of transistor but w by l ratio of all the transistor are equal now what do, now what you will do so this is the problem okay so what you need basically a common source amplifier okay here we have vdd common source amplifier current of sorry 100 microampere right and this is v in and this is v not okay so the, this is loaded with a current of 100 microampere now you need to get 200 microampere you need to get 100 microampere current from 200 microampere reference current okay you have a golden current source of 200 microampere and you need to get 100 microampere from that but w by l ratios of all the transistor are equal getting 100 microampere from 200 microampere current source when w by l ratios are equal so think about it what you will do you have 200 microampere okay you need to generate some voltage that voltage should be referred to 100 microampere what you can do this is a resistance of r this is a resistance of r if we have already 200 microampere current here we will have 100 microampere, here we will have 100 microampere. Are you getting the idea what we will do now? I hope most of you have already understood what you will do. We will connect two diode connected transistor. This is one diode connected transistor and one more diode connected transistor. Okay. basically we have this 200 microampere current 100 microampere will go here 100 microampere will go here and it will generate it will generate some v voltage the, this v voltage will be the same only this v is here and this v goes here so this v voltage will be the same only right this v will be the same now and it will be fed to the other transistor right and then we will have this output this output of 100 microampere okay w by l ratio of all the transistor are same so m m and m all the transistor are m only 200 microampere current divided into two part 100 100 and the same is copied that's it okay so what will be your final design we can make the final design now. Final design. I guess I can copy it. So basically, this is the hundred microampere we have got and here we will connect a 
common source amplifier this is v in and this is v out in. so we have a 100 microampere current source in the load is that de design fine i need you to uh, think about it for some time take one minute or two minutes is this de design fine or this is wrong this is wrong now what is the issue wrong design these transistors are not in current mirror why so because vgs has been changed now here vgs is v vgs is v now vgs is v here no because you have connected a transistor here right so this vgs has changed vgs has changed for let us call it m dash m dash right vgs has changed so this is not the correct design and how we will get the correct correct design using at most what we will get from vdd to ground but uh, in our design you need from vdd to some node we need current from vdd to some node so can you use nmos no we can't use we need to use pmos right the idea will be the same but it will be made using pmos you need current from vdd to some node so because of that you need to use pmos current source okay the idea is same but the problem we did was we used and we used nmos and because of that the vgs code changed so you, instead of that you need to you need to use pmos okay so now how will our final design look like basically this is the current source you have this is the current source of 200 microampere you have okay this is vdd okay right this will be common right this potential this potential is common right this is also vdd this 200 microampere will be divided into two part 100 microampere and 100 microampere right this will be divided into 100 and 100 now this will be fed to the other and most device right this will be vdd so here your vsg is same for everyone right if this i call v so this will be again 100 microampere right and this will be fed to the transistor okay and this is v in and this is v out okay so this is your corrected final design so i hope you have understood the concept now okay because here vsg is same for all the all three transistors right vsg is same for all three transistors no need to make anything vsg is same so this is the final corrected design okay so i hope you have understood the concept now okay thank you now we will see uh, differential amplifiers we will see more problems on current mirror in the later part but now for the concept we will see differential amplifiers okay thank you